Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Team Big Play. Sorry if I haven't been able to get this video out sooner. I know there is a lot of spam among the Yu-Gi-Oh! community um, as far as the ban list goes. So I'm going to try to go over this quick. This is more of an analysis, not necessarily a reaction video because I've already seen it. It is a bit of an enraging ban list for me, but it is what it is. So, going on to the first band card, Eclipse Wyvern. Decent band. Could have been better. I think they could have hit um, something else if they really wanted to cripple the engine. So, obviously, that wasn't their intent. Uh, however, Eclipse Wyvern's ability to recur banished resources could be a problem in the future. So, I think it's a decent hit. Uh, bigger hit here. Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish. I think this was a very, very necessary hit. This makes running the Orcist engine less incentivized. Uh, so that way, if you use the Orcist engine in whatever deck, then you're only going to get one crescendo out of it instead of a crescendo and two Phantom Knights. That way, uh, there's not just a whole bunch of Orcist dot decks running around. Um, I'm very interested to see how Orcists adapt. I don't know if they're going to be able to. I think, if anything, they're going to use more of that... What's it called? The World... Legacy Catastrophe, and I think go a more um, True King of All Calamities route. But that's just my speculation. I do think this was a good hit. It's sad to see uh, Bardish go because it's such good support for Phantom Knights. And Phantom Knight support just keeps getting hit and hit and hit because of all these other decks that abuse it, um, which is sad. But inevitably, you kind of got to do what you got to do. I think... Orcus may adapt by running Triple Cloak, Triple Phantom Knights, maybe take more of a Phantom Knight like specific deck build, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. See what else. That's all it for the banned cards. For the limited, uh, Altergeist Multifaker got banned. So what it seems like Konami was trying to do for this ban list, because uh, if you go down, where is it? Here you see that Trickstar. Light stage also got limited. Um, it's now added. Konami is trying to hit like all the big decks now and hit all the decks from last format so that way those decks can't take the place. You know? So since Orcus is a stun deck now, they're trying to hit Trickstar, so when they hit Orcus, Trickstar doesn't just become the new Orcus. Um, they're trying to hit Solid Mangrate now. Um, and they are limiting multi-faker, so Altergeist doesn't take the place of Solomon Gates. Um, obviously, they do different things, but I think that's what Konami's trying to go for. They're trying to push for a newer meta format. So, obviously, they hit multi-faker. Uh, big F in the chat for Altergeist. I don't know if they're going to be able to do nearly as well. Um, I think it was, it was definitely a foresight hit. Uh, I don't honestly see any other reason. Um, Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. They also hit Wyver Buster. Where's that? Right there. Um, and that's clearly a stab at the Guard Dragons. Because uh, Black and White Dragon are just so splashable. This makes them only one use. Uh, and that's if you draw them. And then even then, like you don't have a combo for next turn. Um, so it takes down the consistency. They hit... Solomon Great Gazelle. Um, I think that was a necessary hit. Solomon Great before Gazelle got hit basically had like, what, uh, nine copies, three Gazelle, three Cyanet Mining, three Solomon Great Circle. So I think putting Gazelle to one uh, definitely hits that. And down here, actually, they hit uh, Solomon Great Circle as well, um, which. Again, necessary hit. They're trying to kind of clear out the meta a little bit or at least make it more balanced. So after Gazelle, we have uh, Tempest, Dragon Roller, Storms. I wasn't around during Dragon Roll format. Uh, however, from what I've seen of plays today, Dragon Rollers are kind of eh. I don't see them making too big of a splash. Um, let's see. What's next? What's next? Circle got hit. Multi-roll got hit. However, I do think this hit is... I think it's, if anything, it's more of a slap on the wrist for Sky Striker. I think they're still going to be able to play today, but now they're 
a bit more centric about protecting multi-role. They have to be way more protective of that. So if you hit their multi-role, they're done. Um, if you can just get through their negates, which is really easy because maximum they have is three. Uh, then terraforming, semi-limited. Uh, i seen this thing. Cap G said field spells are too powerful. I disagree. I think that hurts a lot of different decks that have to rely on their field spell, um, which I think is pretty sad because that makes field spells less prevalent. I guess we still have set rotation. Um, however, in order to use set rotation, you have to run two uh, field spells anyways. I know for prankings, this really hurts uh, consistency. So F in the chat for decks that have to use terraforming. Uh, Trickstar Light Stage, limited. F in the chat for Trickstar. They now have no comeback play whatsoever. I didn't see them as much of a threat. I think if they really wanted to hit Trickstar, um, but keep them playable, I think they should have hit Reincarnation. That obviously wasn't the goal here. They wanted to take Trickstar out uh, of the spotlight for... Pretty much for good. Um, as you can see, I think that's part of the reason why they limited terraforming. Metaverse, one, good riddance. Um, I'm not even going to give an F in the chat for Mystic Mind. I think that card should specifically stick in the side deck. No questions asked. So, semi-limits. Uh, Nessie, Jackalope, Suchinoko, semi-limited. I really don't have too much to say about that. I think that was uh, a good hit. Uh, definitely necessary, no complaints. Um, I think it was a good hit in general. Chaos, Emperor Dragon, avoid the end, two, that's fine. Uh, Stratos, the two, I think is really good, uh, especially with all this hero support. So it seems like they're really trying to push this uh, a bit more, and I think Stratos, the two, is perfect to do that. I don't even think Stratos makes much of an impact anyways. Um, similar to Skullcrabat Joker, like I think Skullcrabat could have came to one, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Insector Dragonfly, semi-limited, that's fine, they're not going to make much of a splash, Aether, Heavenly Monarch at 2, again, I don't see much coming out of that, Jugglers at 2, same thing, um, not too much relevant, uh, sure it, however, is at 2, and the way that it's looking, I think stun decks are going to become really prevalent, um, in the format, I think, the only, or at least the main combo decks that are, if anything, going to stay big is maybe Prank Kids. I have to mess around to see if I can actually um, mess with the consistency a little bit, make them a bit more. I think I've been able to do that. Um, and Cyber Dragon, I would say, are probably going to stick around. Same thing with Heroes. Um, that's about it. If anything, I see it becoming a very, very stun-heavy format. Uh, then for our threes, uh, Cleefort Scout is at three. So you may or may not see a return of Cleefort. I think that would definitely be interesting. They're a Pendulum deck that I have not seen in a while. I don't actually, I don't think I've really ever seen them. I think I've seen them maybe once or twice in some playback duels that I was watching from that era. But like, so um, be interested. Lesser Pendulum, Draco Slayer at two. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, Trishula is at three or less of pendulums at three sorry not two Trisha is at three um that could get a little spammy uh i'm not quite sure if Trisha is was a dragon or if it was a fairy i want to say dragon though and i think the only problem is that i can see guard dragons going trishula 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 and ripping out your opponent's hand and then just making something like hope harbinger off of trish so that could become a problem. Dark Holes at 3. I think that's fine. Uh, I think it's going to be a stun format anyways. Uh, and if Raigeki's at 3, Dark Hole can definitely be at 3. Monster Gate. I Honestly, I have actually no idea what Monster Gate does. Um, so I can't say too much on that. Rekindling is for... Is it Flame Bell? I don't think it's Flame Bell. Um, not Infernoids. Uh, some type of fire deck um that the whole goal is to burn you so i think that's good support for them uh, i don't see them making too big of a splash though either super poly at three again stun format and then solemn judgment at three uh this was something i really wanted to get to i wanted solemn judgment to come to three um, for a little while now however seeing the other hits i think this might also boost solemn judgment's 
strength a little bit, uh, especially in Sky Striker. I see Sky Striker taking a very solemn judgment, solemn strike, um, heavy deck. Uh, so that way they can defend their multi roll and get a bit more advantage. Um, so, yeah, that's my predictions. As far as what I think the meta is going to shape out to, I think it's going to be a very, very stun heavy format. I think sub terrors are going to thrive. I think Necros are going to do very good. Um, I think even old Thunder Dragons, like Pure or even Thunder Dinos, um, are definitely going to make a push. Uh, zombies, heroes, maybe cyber dragons. Uh, they got Nostra now, so who knows? Um, yeah, so definitely be on the lookout for that. I would buy up your twin twisters now, uh, and maybe even a couple spell cancelers. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.